So, to do it correctly, all this whining and squeaking he's doing, we wouldn't go anywhere. Yeah. We wait for complete calm. That could take him an hour, could take him two days to calm down, so we ain't got that much time. But you wouldn't put a collar or lead on a dog that's already in an excited state. Yeah. So we'll just give him minutes, all the pacing, see, this is all excitement. Sit! Good. So, now, he'll listen to a sit command, so use that. To... Shush. No, sit. Wait. Wait. Wait, 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 no, wait, 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 no, you wait. Wait. So for the video, this is the owner showing me what she would generally Wait. do. Sit down. So critiquers, we're going. You've said wait three million times. You said sit down. Where is it? Sit down or is it sit? I was saying sit. So don't change it from sit to sit down. Keep it as sit because otherwise, if you want him to lie down, you're going to run out of commands. Yeah. And he didn't really wait. He told him three million times. He waited, but then he shot through. So bring him back in. I'll show you how to do it properly. So for the video, I've just shown her the right way to do it, so Six. she's having a go herself now. Now this is really important, make sure there's no tension on that lead, because any tension is going to prompt him forward. So he's going too far back, he's gone more than six foot six. back. That's it. Use like this as a guide, you want him about there. Keep the lead nice and loose. Shut the door, just shut the door. Because he's taking the mickey out of you, didn't do this for me, did he? So you see, the second he goes to get up, shut that door, and that's the end of that exercise. We stop and we start from the beginning. Yeah. He'll quickly get bored of it. Yeah. And you won't have to do this many, many times no. because it's instantly over. Yeah. So really, I should have his lead here. Where do you normally put it on in there? Yeah. So yeah, no, put, put it on in here. here. Yeah. Because right, okay. otherwise you're going to have to work through this exercise and then, and then do the same at that door. Yeah. Whereas if you do it here... You see, when I did it, I walked straight out and he stayed behind me. Yeah. But then at the next door, I would make sure he's at the side or behind me. He's not going to push out, push no. me out of the way because that's dangerous. Yeah. So I'll open the door again. Sit. Come a bit Sit. Sit. So I remember what I did. I only told him once or twice, and then I used the lead as a, as a, a correction. I'm not keep repeating the command because he's taking the mickey. Come on. Now there, you told him, come on, before you're even out the door. See, I set off, and as I was almost through the door, come, so that he's behind me, because when you do it too soon, he's going to do like he nearly did and try and get past you. Nope. Back in. Back in, shut the door. Sit down. Sorry. <laughs> See, he learns faster than you. I put that on my Facebook page. I said, he's done well. Claire yeah. needs a bit more work. More. <laughs> I need to be more consistent. Sit. 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 Nearly. It was better. Sit. Don't tell him that's it. Don't tell him again. You're only going to ever tell him once or twice. Then after that, you're going to issue a lead correction because he's just ignoring you. It's not that he doesn't know it. He knows it very well. He's tired before we've even got out the door. Better. Come on. Better. And did that feel better to yeah. usual? Sit down. Sit. Sit See, down. again, you do sit down, sit. So one or the other, try and remember. So the gate principle is the same as the door. No, nope, shut, shut it. And you see how you stood at his side, to the side of him. Turn your body in front of him, From that's it. And walk into his space and put him up on this step. Give yourself more. Walk, him further, walk into him more, that's it. Put him there. And then it doesn't matter if he's looking or not, you're going to open your gate and he is not to just shove past you. Every time he goes to shove... 
you're going to just turn your body to face him. So I would hold the lead touch shorter. As you set off walking, yeah, hold the lead shorter, otherwise he's going to just bounce okay. to the end of the lead. No, no. I, I, they have to sit inside for me and outside as I go through my me, me door and my two gates. As long as they're not pushing in front of me, they're fine. They can come out. They don't have to sit outside. It's up to you how yes. you want, want to do it, but Get he's not back. doing that. Get back. Stay. 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 No. Okay. So I've just shown her the right way to do it, so she's going to have a go herself now. Nice and confident. Watch for that head drop in life. That head drop's always going to try and barge you out of the way. Better? Good. This is what I have all the way round, and I do try and correct him, but he doesn't seem to... But it's just constant pressure. At the moment it is, yeah. Yeah. So. And look, if you look, he's a full dog length in front of you. Yeah, and I can't keep him there. No. So, and also, we don't want constant pressure on a dog's neck. No. Because what he learns is, well, if I keep on pulling... Oi then I get where I want because we've got constant pressure but we're still moving forward. Exactly, yeah. So then I try the moving backwards and going round in circle but all I do is go round in circles constantly. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's yeah. not good, is it? So his owner's got, um, what if you had back surgery? Yeah. So she can't have twice. a dog, oh God, <laughs> twice. <laughs> twice, so she can't have a dog pulling her, obviously because it'll put her back out. See, even that where he pushes in front to get to the smell, use your knee to nudge him out of the way. That's just bad manners. Yeah. He's a good dog, he just needs more manners, doesn't he? Yeah. See, there he's doing a touch better. So what he's trying to do is trying to get his head down to follow sense, which we don't want him to do. He's got 250 million scent receptors in his nose. He doesn't need to have his head down to follow a Pacific scent. So Paul hasn't... Have you not walked him before then, Paul? He walks him on the lead in the garden, but never on this one. OK. He walks him on his so you can collar. see straight away there's a lot of tension on the lead. And you can see by yeah. how he's got his arm, there's tension yeah. on it. And again, this is, you can hear the dog. Yeah. And that's what I was worried about, because yeah. that's constant on yeah. him. And this is where your neck damage comes yeah. in. Regardless, same on harnesses. People think harnesses are better. They still do the same damage. If your dog pulls, you're damaging. Yeah. It's as simple as that. Can you feel it, Paul, in pulling? So we've given him all his leads so he can do his toilet. He's done his wee. And then if you watch him as he walks, he goes from left to right. He's, look, at there's a bit of tension on the... He's not overly pulling, but you can see the lead straight. See, there he goes left to right. And he, look, now he's starting to pull, look. Isn't, isn't that part of his pleasure at going for a walk? Well, like I say, he has 250 million scent receptors in his nose, so he doesn't need to have his head down. When they have the head down, they're just following a Pacific scent. And once they get onto a scent that they really like, what they're going to do is start dragging you wherever that scent's been. So you're going to be doing loads of zigzags everywhere, and then it's probably come to a sudden stop when he gets to the scent. So we've put Max on the prong collar just so his owners can feel the difference on how many corrections or how forceful your corrections need to be when they're on a prong. So he's been on it, what, 30 seconds with you? How does it feel already? So if you didn't hear her, she said he's not pulling. Paul, you have a go with him as well so you can feel the difference too. I will. And you're going to just flick upwards or across the front of you. Is that all Paul back? That's back. How does that feel?
No, no. And this is the thing, people are apprehensive about a prong when they don't know anything about them. They think that they cause pain and create fear and all that, and they don't. They think that they've got, got because they, bl they blunted at the end, aren't Yeah, they're they? all they rounded think, off. People think that they're really sharp. No. And that they somehow can pierce the neck. Oh, well, there is some videos on uh, Google like that, and what that's nothing to do with prongs, how you buy them. When you look into that, what it is, sharpen. people have actually sharpened them, so they may as well put barbed wire around your dog's neck, so of course it goes in the skin. All these prong collars that I use are all the same brand. They're all Home Sprenger. It's the only brand I'm going to use, and they're rounded off so that they're nice and smooth on the ends. There is also lots of videos online where you'll see them put a prong around a balloon and correct, correct, correct. Don't put the balloon. No. Because they're smooth. Yeah. They're not designed to be sharp yeah. and spiky. They're uncomfortable to the dog, which is why they work so effectively. But there's no pulling. There's no discomfort on you. There's no discomfort on the dog. There's none of that horrible <laughs> noise as the dog pulls.